have a good time. Put a smile on your face, yeah. Keep me caring. Elation Radio. Mm-hmm. Even brighten your day and help you through the night. Bring you good music. Keep me caring. Elation Radio. And here's your host. This is Apostle P.D. Westbrook, and I want to invite you to join me here on the Elation Radio Station podcast every Saturday for Shabbat Saturday. It is going to be absolutely epic. Hallelujah. So join me, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, here on Elation Radio with Dr. Kimmy Kim, Shabbat Saturday. Shalom. 
Hallelujah. Glory to God. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is Shabbat Saturday with Apostle Dawn, also known as P.D. Westbrook. Thank you so much for that introduction and for that powerful song, I Speak Victory, one of my favorites. Amen. Hallelujah. Well, I just want to thank the Lord Jesus for this platform, for this day, for this opportunity. Amen. And I also, most importantly, I want to thank him because we have this opportunity to come here every Saturday to Shabbat him, to worship him, because we were created for that purpose, to worship him, to honor him, to bring him glory in this earth realm. Did you know that, people of God? The word says in Revelation 4.11, you are worthy, O Lord our God, to receive glory and honor. Mm, 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 mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because you created all things, and by your will they exist and were created. We were created to worship. So here, right now, on this day, on this stage, amen, we lift up our hands and we bless his name. Glory to God. Because he is our God and our Lord. All oh, this week he has been saying to me, amen, I am the Lord God. He's just been repeating that in my spirit. I am the Lord God. And guess what, people of God? We are blessed because we are seated in heavenly places with him, the one and only who says, I am the Lord God. Amen. So we need not fear what the enemy is trying to speak within our ear gates or have us um, in our eye gates. Amen. What we may see in the headlines or hear. Amen. The, the headlines, I'm, again, I'm repeating it, the headlines that we're hearing, what's happening abroad. And the changing of the guards, amen, the systems that are being overturned, glory to God, and them are trying to um, attack those overturns in the name of Jesus. But know that every curse, amen, every assignment, every plot of the enemy is being overturned in this season in Jesus' name. And so I just come in agreement with what the Spirit of the Lord is doing for the body of Christ, I'm telling you. Indeed, he is sabotaging every plan of the enemy. He is sending back every attack to every evil address and every deal that was made in the kingdom of darkness. Amen. Every assignment, the Father God is overturning it. My God today, turning it around. My God today. Hallelujah. So I am excited. I'm on 100. Again, I thank you so much for being here with us. I am your host of Shabbat Saturday, Apostle Dawn. Amen. And that's what we do, people of God. Listen, there is a great shaking going on. Can you not feel it in your spirit? There is a great shaking in the heavenly realms. And we, you and I, have been given the authority to speak and to say something. And life is in the power of the tongue. Hallelujah. And we have been given the authority. We have been given the dominion and rulership as kingdom citizens to decree and declare a thing. And so it shall be established. And so I am so, so encouraged on this Shabbat Saturday because I can see the hand of God moving on behalf of his people. And it is absolutely a wonder in my eyes just to see the overturn of legislation and my God and just exposing certain things in the body of Christ and bringing up a remnant of people that will not allow themselves to be muzzled any longer in Jesus name. So today, this day, the day that the Lord has made and has created just for you for this Shabbat Saturday, we will rejoice and be glad in it as we have with us. Amen. She is not a stranger to this platform. Prophetess Lisa Harris, the Lord bless you on today, woman of God. We are honored to have you here in Jesus' name. Are you with us? Amen. Amen. Bless you, my sister. Amen. Amen. We thank you, woman of God, awesome, anointed, amen, kingdom, powerful woman of God. We bless the Lord for you for being here. We pray that the Lord will use you mightily in this hour as he speaks 
through you as the oracle of God for his people, amen, and that you break every stronghold of the enemy in Jesus' name, bring forth a word that is going to manifest transformation in the hearers, amen, the people that are here, glory to God, and on the replays and the recording in Jesus' name. And with that, I release the mic, woman of God, prophetess, Lisa Harris, Go forth to back the Lord and bless the people of God. Amen. Amen. Praise God. We just thank God for one more opportunity that he allowed us to be here on this blessed Saturday morning. Amen. July the 9th. I don't know about you all. I am very honored. Amen. Just to be here on this morning. As I was just lying in my bed this morning and said, God, I, I, don't, I need something for the people of God. You know, you haven't gave me no word, release no word to me. As I was just laying in the bed, just meditate, you know, quiet time, just me and God. And I said, Lord, I, you, you, ain't, you haven't gave me nothing yet, so I'm still waiting. How many know when we get into the presence of the Most High God, when we get into that quiet place, that secret place, hallelujah, the Father will download us something quick. Come on, somebody. And also download us a now word for the people of God on this blessed Saturday, July the 9th, 2022. So as I was lying in my bed this morning, I said, God, you know, I'm still waiting. I'm waiting and waiting. So the Lord say, I need you just to minister to my peoples, my chosen daughters, my chosen son, that return back to the altar. So I said, okay, God, because that has been in my spirit for months and months and months. As, as we know, as we visit different ministries, we go to our own churches, and um, we don't see nobody at the altar in the mold calling on the name of Jesus. We don't see nobody laboring at the altar in the mold. I, don't, I mean, I, I can speak for myself. I don't see that. So God said, tell the people on this blessed Saturday morning, hallelujah, that it's time to return back to the altar. Whatever we need, it's going to be at the altar before God. So he said, return back to the altar. Amen. Let's go into a quick prayer. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, we just come before your precious afternoon. Just want to tell the Father thank you for another blessed Saturday morning that you engrace us with much grace and much mercy. But most of all, we thank you for your tender loving care. We thank you for your compassion. Hallelujah. As we lie down and slept all night long, Father God, we thank you again that how you watch over our houses and apartments and condos and and wherever we might be presiding at, we thank you, Father God, that you cover and shield us. Father God, this afternoon, open up your people spiritually, ear gates, the spirit of mind, heart, and soul, and be able to receive this word, but not only receive it, that you are blessed them to download this word. Hallelujah. That this word begin to absorb in them and, and let them quicken them. Let them think about it. They need to return back to the altar and begin to call on the name of Jesus. Father God, we give you praise. We give you glory. We give you honor. We reference you now in the name of the Father, the Son, and the precious Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. Amen. Return back to the altar. Now, an altar, it doesn't have to be in your ministry in your church, we can have our own altar in our home. Uh, we can have a place on our job that we can go and fill away, and we can build a altar wherever we decide to build that. But as we build the altar, we want God present to be already there. Hallelujah, and be in let His presence follow us. Amen. It say. I've been distraction. Now, we know we all been distraction by who? Person, place, a thing. It might be more than three things. Amen. I've been distraction by what I cannot control. We can only control things we walk in the spirit, not in our flesh, not our emotions. Out of our own intellect, we can control things if we get a grasp on it and say, hold up, this is not of God. This is not godly. Amen. 
And the Holy Ghost said he will lead and guide us to all truth. The Holy Spirit will help us control ourselves first. Come on, somebody. And also it will put us in check. That's why it's so important that we must return back to the altar of God. Amen. What all we need is at the altar of God. It said, I have a lot of perspective through all these high and low when I forgot how good you have been. Some of us have forgot how good God has been to us. Some of us have, have forgot how God brought us out of so many things. Come on, somebody. Some of us have forgot how God kept us. He made a way to us to escape. Come on. He saved us from a whole lot of things. It's a forgot how good you have been. I know where I need to go. Uh-oh. I know where I need to go, but the question is, what are you going to do about it? If you, if God said, return back to the altar, how many times do the Spirit of the Lord have to continue to speak to you and me and say, return back to the altar? Okay, we, we hear the voice of God telling us this, but we not hearken. We not hearken mean God said when he hearken, what does that mean? God said, I'm trying to get your full attention to return back to the altar. And that's why you keep going through the same cycle, keep going through the same thing, because we have never returned back to the altar of God, and, and we have not seen God, we have not acknowledged God. We, we always do things in our own way. And God said he's speaking. But what do he say? Who has an ear to hear? For the Spirit of the Lord is speaking to you and me. So the Spirit of the Lord say, return back to the altar. Come on, somebody. Whatever we need is at the altar. If we need more strength, we need more power, we need more faith, we need more revelation, we need more wisdom. Whatever we need, it's going to get it at the altar, calling on the name of Jesus. Some might say, I can't, I can't get on my knee. You can pull your chair to the altar, and you can still spend time with the Lord. Amen. It said, where I need to go, I will run back to the altar. Uh Uh-oh. The Spirit of the Lord said you better get in a hurry. Come on, in this season, wherever God has told you in me, whoever he has chose you in me, he said, you better run. Run back to the altar. Why you say that, woman of God? It's going to be an opportunity where we can't make it to the altar. And so while we have a chance now on the earth realm, he said, run back to the altar. And I will remember all you've done. Go back and get that Holy Ghost power. Uh Uh-oh. What you mean? Some of us need to get a refilling. Son of us need the Holy Ghost. It will keep you. It will control you. Self-discipline, your temper, your anger, your malice, your scribe. When you got the Holy Spirit, it will quicken them. Now, it does not mean that do we always obey the Holy Spirit? No. You know why? Because we in ourself. We let our self control us, our mind control us. But it says, that the Holy Spirit go back to the altar, send your power, send your power, let it fall fresh on me, the anointing, the Spirit of God. God, I need power. I need strength. Lord, I'm at the altar now. God, I'm crying out to you. God, I repent, God, for my shortcoming. I repent, God. First of all, before we come into the presence of the Lord, when we come to the altar, we got to make sure that we have went back and made things right with that individual. If we say anything, we did anything, you got to go back and, and apologize to that person. Then you come to the altar before God. Why you say that? Because I'm coming before I'm empty. I'm not bringing nothing with me. I made a right with my sister, my brother, my pastor, whoever it is. So now, God, I'm at the altar. I'm coming before you. And I'm asking you, God, that you forgive least so come on, somebody. Whatever we need, he said, return back to the altar and let the anointing of the Holy Ghost send your power. Send your power. Let it fall fresh on me. I've been feeling so defeated, but I know you have overcome even when I feel unworthy. How many, how many today said, God, I feel so unworthy of this blessing? I know, God, I did not deserve it. 
I know I was unworldly, but God said, yes, you were, but I'm going to allow you to still get what you got from me because you came back to me, you returned back to the altar, you made things right with the individual, you made peace. So now he said, yes, you was unworldly, but you still call me your beloved. So I will run back to the altar. I will remember all the things I have done. I will run back to you, Lord. This is another thing you you go oh, you do. Come back to the altar. The Lord hears your tears. He hears your cry. He hears our prayer, our petition, our grant, our supplication. Ever been a time now the Spirit of the Lord say, we better run to the altar. Get a hold on the altar. Begin to call on the name of Jesus. Begin to cry out. Come on, somebody. Begin to weep and cry. If you got a scream, you got a holler, it does not matter. Take you a box of tissue with you at the altar. God might want to purge some of us. Come on. He might want to do a cleansing. He might want to do a just a washing and a de- 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 detox up. Some of us need to be detoxed in the Holy Ghost. When you go through a detoxing, that means is something in us that we want the Spirit of God to cleanse us. Some of us today, we need to be detoxed. And you already know the thing that you need God to, to detox you from. Some of us need to be washed, cleansed, purged. The old people said, nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can wash away my sin? Nothing but the blood. What can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. This ever been a time now, we got to get back flying the blood. Bleed the blood. See, what happened is we're losing our power. We're losing our strength because we don't want them in the name of Jesus. God, I plead the blood. God, I apply the blood. Every night before I go to bed, I ask God, I cover this house. I shield this house. I plead the blood. Apply the blood. Every one door, every door of this house, God, cover the driveway, cover the property. And so when we got the blood of our doorpost, that the word of God said, when the enemy tried to come on our doorpost, Come on, somebody. He's going to see the blood over there, and he's going to have to what? Keep going. What you, what you mean? He got to keep it moving. MC Hammer say, you can't touch this. Why? Because the blood is over my doorpost. Come on, somebody. You got what the Bible says. Men should always pray. Return by to the altar. Wherever you need deliverance, healing, cleansing, purging, you got to go in for yourself. You got to tell whoever around you, I'm sorry, I'm going in for myself. If 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 you don't understand, come on, somebody. See, well, God takes us in this season right here. Everybody can't go in with us. Come on, somebody. Everybody that assigned to our destiny. Everybody don't understand your purpose, your dreams, your vision. That's why we can't share everything with everybody. I don't know about you all. This word is for me today. I've got to return back to the offer because sometimes when we allow the enemy to come in, like I said again, when we allow him to come, he can't come in unless we open up the door, come on in. And he coming in. Like a flood. You know why he's going to come in? Because we has not been at the altar. We has not been crying out to the Lord. We have not fast. We have not seek the God. On this week, the Lord reminded me, Lisa, he said, now you always give me two or three days of fasting. He said, but every morning you've been eating. So guess what, Holy Spirit, he began to come convict me. And I said, oh, my God. So I began to turn down my place on Thursday. Because the Lord said, hold up. You always fast two or three days. But see, guess what happened? I was not walking in there. I was not in the spirit of God. So I I forgot that I already give God two days of fasting. But the Holy Spirit that I allowed to abide in me, it quickened me. He spoke to me, and I heard him. I hark it, and I obey the voice of God. I said, oh, God, you're right. I began to repent right then and there. God, tomorrow come, I'm going to confess. These can't come through much fasting and prayer. The Spirit of the Lord is speaking. 
to his children and his son. He said, who are listening, who are hearkening to the voice of God? Today the Lord said, return back to the altar. Yes, you hear the word this afternoon, July the 9th, but what are you going to do? We just can't hear the word. We got to be doer of the word, of the lot of the word to absorb in us, a lot of the word to work in us, a lot of the word to be obedient. We got to be obedient to the word of the Lord. The Bible said, those who be willing and obedient, we shall eat the good of the land. Today the Lord says, return by to the also. So what you're saying, the Spirit of the Lord is speaking, because some of us, we've got to be real. We have not been at the also. Yes, yeah, good that they pray in our seat, but I believe when you enter into the sanctuary, the first thing we should do, go to the altar. If you know your service started at a certain time, you shall tell your preacher, your pastor, put your head of doors open a little early. I want to get there and get at the altar. I want to get into the presence of the Lord before the service starts. Don't you know when you enter into the into the gates, you enter into the sanctuary, you can cause the atmosphere to shield. Come on, somebody. When we walk in the room, my God, hallelujah. We walk in the room, they're all on our lives. So suppose things to shift. I don't care if things in chaos. I don't care if things are going haywire, as old people say. If you say you've been anointed and appointed by God, when you walk in that room, you're supposed to cause everything to come subject to the Holy Ghost. Come on. The Bible said one can put a thousand, two can put ten thousand. When is the last time you use your authority? Woo! God. See, you can't you can't have no authority if you ain't got no prayer life. You can't walk in authority if you have not fast, you ain't see God, you ain't spend no time with God. That's why when people treat us wrong, the Bible says, Bring us the mind says, Oh Lord, you ain't gotta repay, you ain't gotta fight. Guess what? You ain't gotta say a word. The Bible says, I will fight your battles for you. Some of us losing the battles, you know what? Because we fight in the realm of the natural. The Bible says, rest of not in flesh and blood. Press up powers, my God. Pull down every stronghold with the power of prayer. Wrestle not wickedness, spiritual, high places. Catch them down. Come on. You can't catch nothing down if you ain't been at the altar. If you ain't been praying, you ain't been fasting. How can you catch anything down? Come on. How can you say, with sister devil, he gonna flee from you? Well, you ain't spent no quality time, no intimate time. You ain't fast. You ain't pray. You ain't seek God. Come on, somebody. If you want a fresh oil, you want a new mantle that prophetic, a posterity mantle on your life, it's going to take time shutting that TV down. Still Facebook, still Instagram. Come on, somebody. The Bible says these kind come through much faster than prayer. It is a great sacrifice. Sacrifice. Return it back to the altar. Tell the Lord, Lord, I repent now. God I ain't been going to the altar. You told me to go to the altar, but God, I, I, I allow my own. Sell. Come on, somebody. We ain't going to get the devil, the enemy, no credit this afternoon. It's time to look in the mirror and say, God, I'm blaming myself. Come on, somebody. Can't nobody stop and block you unless you let them. Come on. Can't nobody block your flow unless you are let them. Come on, somebody. We got to stop giving the enemy too much credit. That's why we losing the battle. Some things should not be going on in the house of God. Come on, somebody. The Bible said the anointing sought from the head on down. If your leader is going through some attack, it can be because somebody ain't praying. What is the watchman on the wall? Come on, somebody. The prophet, the prophet, and and the and army bearer, and whoever else has signed to your leader, the Bible said you're supposed to be the king. Thing and you block thing that it'll try to come in him or her, but it will not. And the Psalms 91 said, No evil should come in that dwelling place. Come on, somebody. Psalms 91, verse 1 said, He that dwell in the secret place dwell it. See, hey, that means you got to continue to return by to the altar. Sometimes I have to just tell the Holy Spirit, Put your hand over my mouth, God. Because, God, you know Lisa. Come on, somebody. See, it's good we can talk about ourselves. If we know we got issues within ourselves, what you going to do about it? Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. It's time to look in the mirror at yourself. It's time today to do a self-examination. 
my question to you today, when was the last time you was at the altar? When the last time you stay at the altar and to God gave you what you need? Come on, somebody. Jacob wrestled with God all night long, didn't he? Come on, somebody. But he told you, I'm giving you to change your name. Come on, somebody. See, we don't need to be wrestling with the Holy Spirit because we're going to lose. The battle belongs to the Lord. Huh? We're going to defeat the enemy, defeat in the spirit, in our type. It's on us. gun. We're going to, going to win by at the altar calling on the name of Jesus. The other night I went into prayer, and I was laying on my face quiet. I didn't have nothing to say. Sometimes when we, when we go in the presence of the Lord, sometimes we need to be best be quiet. You know why? Most of us, when we go into, go into prayer, we, we, we talk and we put in potential, put in uh, prayer requests of everything. But sometimes the Lord said, just come and lie in my presence, in, in, in my presence, quietness. And we have to lie God to talk back to us. Come on, somebody. So I'm learning now when I go in my prayer room, have my prayer room in my home, I'm learning now when I go in there, I don't want to be doing all the talking no more. I want to lie in his presence. God, speak to me. Tell me what you need me to do. What direction? Number one, I'm asking you, show me Lisa. What do I need to do to bring a change? What do I need to do to bring an impact? What? Show me how to pray for my my uh, pastor, my bishop. Show me how to undergird him. Show me how to go in and begin to block. Show me where the snails, the traps, the pigs at. Show me where the witches and the wolves are at. See, that's how when we go in, a lot God to show us, not our own self again, don't start pointing no fingers at nobody. Come on, somebody. Make sure it ain't you. Come on, the Bible says you rent the race well, but who do you allow to hinder you? Uh oh. <laughs> oh my God, this is good right here. I'm going to say it again. The Bible says you rent the race well, mm-hmm. but who do you allow to hinder you? He he asking a question. So today we we not gonna tell the devil. The devil the enemy and Saint Lucifer. Uh uh-uh. uh. He has he he ain't got no power. Listen, God gave him power to attack him. Unless we gave him power. Listen, we let him in. Come on, somebody. There's some door that we need to close. There's some conversation we need to close. Some people said God is for them to lead our life. You know why? Because they they was not signed to our destiny. Come on, somebody. Don't get upset if somebody block you on Facebook. Don't get upset if somebody somebody start doing stuff to you. Don't get upset. Amen? Because guess what? God say our time is up. So we have to be careful who, who, who we are like in our circle, and we got to be careful who we connect ourselves with. Everybody don't have our best interest at heart. Come on, somebody. That's why the Bible say know them that label with you. How can you know them? You got to spend time with that person. You got to be praying, always praying in the spirit. Lord, what is it that you, you assign me to apostle? But God, what, why am I assigned to her? God, you connect her will to me, but what is my assignment to her in her ministry? What is my purpose for being with her? Why do you connect us together? Come on, somebody. Don't look for negative things. Look for things in the spirit. We always looking for something. Oh, God, I need a sign, God. I don't know. See, that's the thing. We go in looking, looking for things about a person. But if you at the altar crying, lying before God, he going to reveal to you, he going to show you everything about that individual. Can I get an amen, somebody? I'm almost done. He said, he said, your beloved soul will run back to the altar. I will remember all. I remember all. I remember all you have done. I will run back to you, Lord. This is another thing that we must do. We got to cover ourselves at the altar. We got to cover our leaders. 
We got to cover the fight of ministry. We got to cover our children, grandchildren, and, and families and friends. We should be covering the whole United States. We should be praying for the president, praying for the, uh, the uh, uh, Camilla Harris. Amen. We should be praying for different ones. See, while we're talking, we should be praying in the book of James that don't be a visitor by this. Don't be a by so fair. Come on, somebody. Don't don't be a tail bearer. Don't taste up and run with it. Somebody come to you for something. You should say, sister, brother, I'm going to pray with you. I pray for you. Lord, whatever your will be done. When people help me to pray for them, I pray, God, what is your will? What you want to do? First, I'm going to ask you, what what I need to pray for you about? And then I have to make sure that you are in line with God. Some of us, we need to learn how to pray for people sitting in the spirit of the Lord, that the Lord lead us and guide us, tell us what we need to pray for. Come on, I just read it. He says, some some of the people are, are unworthy of certain blessings, and we and but we we can pray. Because we are in right standing with God, and God will honor our prayer request. God will go in on our behalf and cause that person to get what they need or, or whatever causes them to escape. Because in the book of Psalms, he will not hold no good thing for those who walk up right before him. Amen, amen. Now, let's get into a little word here. I just, I just had to put that out there quickly. Amen. I'm almost done. We're going to go to First Kings. The 18th chapter, and we're going to read verse 30 and 31, talking about the prophet Elijah. Amen. First King 18, 30 and 31. Elijah said unto all the people, come near unto me. And all the people came near unto him, and he repaired the altar for the Lord. See, Elijah. It's something that he had to do. But he said Elijah went in and repaired the altar of the Lord that was broken down. Ooh, come on, somebody. Somebody need to do a, a check, a recheck right there, do a road check. Is your altar been broken down? Ooh, my God. Some of us need to go hours, go to our ministry. And so let me go and make sure my altar has not been broken down. Come on, somebody. Elijah said he called the people to come near unto me, all the people. Now, uh uh-oh. Now, he didn't say he had two or three little clicks, two or three that that I like. I don't like them. So I'm going to go call the one that I like. Some of us got favoritism in the ministry. Come on, let's be real. Come on. But Elijah said, all the people came near unto him. See, he, he, everybody, he gathered everybody. See, that's why the Bible says he had no respect of a person. Come on, somebody. Whosoever will, let him come. We need to put down these favoritism, put down these two or three peoples. I like, uh-uh. See, that's what's wrong. The Bible says until the everybody that come together, until the body of Christ come in unity, come on one accord, there will not be no great move of God. It's too much functionless in the in the house of God, too much stuff going on in the house of God, too many jealous spirits, too many tail bearers, too many bite body. Come on, somebody. Elisha said he called the people, come, come unto me. All the people came. Woo! Now, 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 look at this right here. Elisha did something, and it says all the people came near unto him, and he repaired the altar. My God, why ain't nobody following you? Why ain't nobody coming? You got to come. The Bible says the Spirit of the Lord will draw people. Then he said, love and kindness would I draw unto thee. The Bible says a soft answer, turn away the rest of God. You can't go about with your nasty attitude. Come on. You stuck up. Come on. You got issues. Ain't nobody going to come to you. The Bible says love and kindness. Uh-oh. I don't care how the 
enemy treats you, still love them. Come on, somebody. When you when you, you know they don't like you, they stand on you in the fight, they scandalize your name, but you can decree to put it up on your life that no weapon form against me, it shall not prosper. Why? Because I'm covered in the blood of Jesus. I have the whole armor of God, and now everywhere I go, I'm dressed for battle. Come on, somebody. The Elijah said he called the people, come. And he built the altar that was broken down. Oh, my God. Right, that's a preach right there. Now, the altar was broken down. Elijah said, I got, I got, I got to go back in now. Uh-huh. I got to go back in. I got to repair. Repair means something was broken. Something was destroyed. Huh? Woo, my God. My God. Repair. I got to go in and repair. Uh-oh. The enemy don't came in. Uh, the devil don't came in, tried to destroy this altar. But God gave Elijah the knowledge. Go back in, Elijah, and repair the altar. But guess what? Elijah had to go in first, repair the altar. See, he, he didn't talk people in. Not then. He had to wait, get instruction from God. God told Elijah, go in, repair the altar. Huh? Some of us try to do stuff before time. Follow the instruction. Do what God say do. Come on, somebody. Everything God say do it. Step by step. Follow the instruction. Guess what? Everything going to get in line. Oh, my God. It was broken down. Verse 30 says, and Elijah took 12 stones according to the number of tribes of the sons of Jacob unto whom the word of the Lord came saying, Israel shall be thy name. What you saying? Did God tell Jacob, I'm giving a new name to Israel? <laughs> oh, my God, hallelujah. If you want God to change your name, return back to the altar. Begin to call on the name of Jesus. Lay your body on the altar. Say, here I am, God, naked and not ashamed. God told Adam, who told you was naked? When we come to the altar, here I am, God, strip me. I come before you, naked and not of shame. Take everything off of me, God. Right now, I deny myself. It ain't no Prophet Lisa, ain't no Pastor Lisa, it's Lisa. Here I am, God. I come before you, naked and not of shame. We came this world naked, we leave this world, we're going to be naked. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm going to read this last scripture, and I'm, I'm really going to be done. Amen. Prophet Isaiah, verse 40 and 29. Here go another prophet. God is speaking today. Whoever is to hear what the Spirit is saying on 2009, 2022, it's time to return back to the altar. I read earlier. He said, you better run. Run. What you mean? You should be at the house of God waiting to get in there. Bishop, pastor, I'm here because you can't let me in. I got to get to the altar right now. He said, run to the altar. Lay there. I don't care if the service starts. You know God is not through with you. Continue to lay there until God gets through stripping everything off of See what happened to him. We get up on the altar too soon. Woo, hallelujah. See, you don't want to have no miscarriage. You don't want to be, be premature. You, you don't want to boil, boil the, the baby. Some of us, we're going to have premature them because we leave leaving the altar too soon, and we're not returning back to the altar. Today, the Holy Ghost said, get to the altar, and you better run to the altar now. Why you got a chance? Call on the name of God while he is near. Come on, somebody. You don't want God to take his prison away from us. And what you mean, if you don't if you don't continue to obey, if you don't continue to be obedient, do what God say do. He said, My presence will leave you. Come on, somebody. I don't know about you all. I don't want to be in nowhere for the presence of God. It's not it. Come on, hallelujah. I don't want to see, I don't want God to say, Ichabod is on the wall. Well, what you mean? That means God's presence has left the ministry. Whew. That's why we better return back to this awesome. We better be running. Say, God, I yield myself to you, God. Hallelujah. This is my last scripture. And I'm, I'm really, I'm really going to be done. Amen. Prophet Isaiah 40, verse 29. Prophet Isaiah 40 and verse 
one and nine. Uh oh, this is real good, y'all. But listen, he give it. Uh oh, that's a th. He he continue. He continue. He continue. Amen. He give it power to the faint. And to them that have no might, he increases strength. That's a T-H, T-H. There's, there's three T-H's in this verse right here. Amen. Now, the Father said he's he, he, he going to give his power. So what you saying? He said, you ain't got to pay for this free. Whosoever will, let him come. How can you? You want power? Go to the altar. You want power? Fast. You want power? Pray. You want power? Seek God. You want power? Call on the name of Jesus. When you walk into a ministry, when it's time for you to bring the word of God, tell God, I, I review every distraction. God, I don't want to see the people's faces. I want to see their faces. It's angels around me. I don't care who comes to the door. I don't care who walking. I'm not going to be distraction because you said he giving me power. I got power to stay focused. Come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You better stay focused. Stay in your place. Stay in your position. Hold your ground. Know when to speak. Know when to be quiet. There's a time and a season for everything. I believe the word of God. That's the third chapter. There's a time and a season for everything. He said and that he have might to increase his strength. 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 T-H. He, he given us the power. Come on, somebody. He said he given us the strength. He, he increases strength. You want God? You want to increase in God? Fast. Pray. Seek. Go fight to the altar. Do your works all over again. In my closet, people of God, whatever you need from God, it's going to take a great cycle of fast. Like I told you earlier, this week, I always give God three days of fasting, two days of fasting. But I got caught up what I'm going to eat. I got to some breakfast food. Okay, I got to make sure I got everything together. And the Lord reminded me quickly. He quickened me. Oh, uh, Lisa, you didn't fast. You ain't, you, you, ain't, you, ain't, you ain't give me my time this week. See what I'm saying? Because you know why? I was thinking about what I'm going to eat. Oh, I ain't eating nothing. I got to fix my breakfast food before I go to work. But the Holy Ghost, he quickened me. He chastised me. He woke me. He said, daughter, daughter Lisa, you already give me fashion. What, what's going on? See, I got caught up on Lisa, flesh. What, what my flesh going to eat instead of what my spirit going to eat? <laughs> what I'm going to digest? God, I, I don't know about you all today. I said, God, I need more of you, God. Today, I fast today. If I came on this line, I had nothing to eat, nothing to drink. You know why? Because I want to come empty before God and before you all. So it would be none of Lisa. Whatever I say, it would be all of God. That's why I sacrifice fasting today. I, I don't want to be giving y'all something out of my own intellect. No, 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 no. I want what I'm saying is going to come straight through the Father, straight through the Spirit of God. That's why I fast today. Come on, somebody. Nothing. No water, no coffee, nothing. Because I was determined. I got to I gotta give the people what God gave me. I can't give it to them if I'm, if I'm, I'm full off of whatever. No. God come through much fasting, much prayer, much dedication. In my closing, I'm asking God even the more, teach me the more how to pray for my leader. Teach me, show me in the spiritual realm what my bishop going through. Let me begin to feel his pain. Let me begin to feel his hurt. Let me begin to pick up in the realm of the spirit what's going on with him so I can go undergird him in prayer. Come on, somebody. See, what's happened with us, we want to pick up the phone and text people, and, and still if we going in our own self. I don't know about you all today. Lisa is dying to Lisa. I refuse to continue not get into that place where God wants me to be at. I know there's a great calling on my life. I know God chose me, but I got to get into the into the. I got to return back to the altar, my own self. I got to do it. This word is for me first. God put me in check this morning. I didn't have nothing for this, nothing for today. 
I bet it's going on week long. God, I got I got to do this on Saturday at 2 p.m. God, you ain't gave me nothing. But God was waiting on me to get into his presence, get into that quiet place, you lay in the bed, don't say nothing. You ask me to give you something for the people. So God, God say, now can you wait till I give you something? I begin just think about stuff. Lord, I need I need a word. Lord, 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 what should I read? Lord said you ain't gonna read nothing. You ain't gonna. He said just wait on me. He said before two p.m. you gonna you gonna have what you for. I gave you for the people. It's gonna come straight for me. Woo, hallelujah. And that's, now, I love when God say, what I'm going to give you, I'm going to pray from the throne. I'm, I'm putting it down, Lord, you. Mm, 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 mm. That song said, can't nobody do me like Jesus. Today, I'm very honored just to be able to come in your presence, begin to set feet of Jesus, hallelujah, begin to give you all what the Father has gave me, begin to release to me what God has released to me. Come on, somebody. Much is given, much is required. I'm very honored today. The woman of God asked me to speak, and I'm going to be real with y'all. I really had forgot, but when I saw it on Facebook this morning, I said, oh, my God. See, the Holy Ghost said he'll bring all things back to our remembrance. But I was already preparing for the word all week long. But remember I just said my daddy. I call him my daddy <laughs> because he said, I'm his, I'm his daughter, and I call him my friend because he said I'm his friend. So me and him have a, a relationship together. That's why I come into his presence. I say, Daddy, my father. <laughs> so today I'm very honored, woman of God. I'm going to put it back in your hand. I do give honor to my bishop, amen, Bishop Michael J. Morton, out of from Godway Ministry, amen, Blunt Sound, Florida, my cousin, my overseer. I do give honor to him today, amen. I thank God for giving me an opportunity. We always should always honor your leader, Amen. Come on. Bible says it's sad when other people can't honor your leader. Amen. But I'm very honored and grateful just to be here one more opportunity. Woman of God is in your hand. God bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you so much for that pour in this hour. Amen. Prophetess, you blessed us, and we love you, woman of God. I tell you, this room this space, this place, this platform where we are today is everything. As we've heard the instruction and the revelation of coming to the altar, certainly this is an hour that the Spirit of the Lord is speaking to us. But as I was listening to you, I, if, if I were to say what I could hear and just concur and for, uh, confirm and affirm, the Spirit of the Lord was saying specifically, amen to me, and I hope to those that are listening that, we need to go back to the floor. Amen. Go mm-hmm. back to the floor. Mm-hmm. Be to the Amen. Floor. Amen. And just hear the voice of the Lord. He is speaking to us. Glory to God. All this week, I mean, I just love how the word lines up with itself. Line upon line, precept upon precept, the Spirit of the Lord has been on this theme about us returning to the basics. Yeah. The basics yes. of fasting, the basics of praying, the basics of worship, hallelujah, the basics of coming into his presence. But you said something. You know, it's it's just so simply profound, but profoundly simple. Amen. Return to the altar and allow yes. the work the word and the work in, in the word to do yes. and manifest itself in us through prayer and intercession through worship, through seeking him in his presence, spending yes, time yes. in his word and fasting. And then I think it's all for purpose, amen, that we truly, our reflection will be his reflection. Our motivation, our heart will be his heart. Our burden will be mm-hmm. his burden and not these false burdens that we take on and call it ministry. And it's only yes, going to be yes. done, amen, by us doing the word and living this thing out inside out. That means that the working is internally on the inside first before there's a manifestation and a demonstration, amen, on the outside. It is accomplished also by us making a decision. And something else the Spirit of the Lord has been saying is when we come to the altar, he wants 
and I'm gonna just put myself on 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 the stage right here on the on my soapbox. All of you, PD. I don't want. Yes. I want all of you or none of you. That means that yes. he wants absolute obedience. He wants absolute surrendering and submission. Yes. He wants all of me. I can't bring part of me to the altar. I can't yeah. bring come in come come into his presence and my heart yeah. belongs somewhere else or is is somewhere else. Glory to God, because he wants all of us prophetess. He wants oh, this oh. like this remnant. Yeah. He like the you know the the cream is coming to the top. The remnant that is coming forth. Amen. Have made a decision, Father God. If you need to put me on the potter's wheel again. Mm, Purify mm, me from everything that on. contaminates yes, this God. body, yes. this spirit. Perfect Hallelujah. your holiness in me. Let me come with the yes, reverence, God. the true reverence for you. Strip me of the old, the unrenewed self, and let me put on the new nature, changing whatever needs to be changed in my life in the name of Jesus. Because he needs us to be vessels unto honor sanctified mm, and mm, fit mm. for the master's use. There's a 911 in the heavens right now, and he needs us to be in position. But we will not yeah. be in position if our hearts have not been totally, totally, my God, today. I, that word just, just rings in my spirit. If our hearts are not, le- are not totally submitted and surrendered. Mm-hmm. And you are right. You are right, woman of God. We are giving the devil too much credit. Sometimes too it's much. just our flesh, okay? Bottom that's line. It. The things, that's the works right of the flesh, that's, that's right. Yeah. That's the works of the flesh that come to create a wedge between our relationship and disallows the Holy Spirit to have free yeah. course in us. Yeah. So, yes, yeah. you know what going to the altar every day does? It makes us crucify this flesh. Yes, yes. Hallelujah. And then begin Hallelujah. to allow him to work with those heart issues. Amen. Because he desires yes. this truth. The, the, the song says he desires truth in the yes, inward part. Our heart, yes. our motives matter. And only, my God, today, only by sincerely, authentically putting God first can we pursue and do the work, the assignment, and the mandate. We have to be Amen. walking in complete obedience. Yes, and that will yes. only come when we go to the altar, spend time at the altar, spend time in his presence. Amen? Because it's those little foxes that spoil the vine. Uh-huh. It's those little yes. secret sins. Amen? That we don't want nobody to know. But guess what? The Father already knows, and he's, he's just waiting knows. for us. Waiting for us yes. to surrender it. Yes. Let it, give it to him and repent and get up and get yes. moving. Amen. Yes. We can't just be getting ready. We need to be ready. We need to be mm-hmm. about the father's business. I'm telling you, there is a 911 in the kingdom of God to get back to the basics. You know, Ooh, it says, the par- it says the, that there is a, a narrow That's path. True, right a narrow mm, path mm, that mm. leads to life. Amen. The, the path is narrow. Hallelujah. But we that are the remnant are crying out on behalf of God's people, crying mm. out being what that watchman, hallelujah, and making a sound in the heavens. Lord God, we yeah, want yeah, there yeah. to be a lesser, a lesser population hallelujah. in the kingdom of darkness as we increase the kingdom of God in the name of Jesus. Prophet, as you said, a mouthful, glory to God. But you said something about self-examination. Truly, it's yes. time for introspection, introspection. And you get introspection when you have intimacy with the Father. Intimacy, yes, Father it. God, all of my ugliness, all of the filthiness, everything yes, that yes, I've not yes. repented of. Things that I'm hiding from people, things that I think that you don't know. The devil is a whole lie because guess what? The Father who created you knows all things, but He's waiting for us, Hallelujah, to truly come to Him authentically. Mm. Open. Let Him prune you. Let Him purify you. Let Him burn off all the dross. My God, today, let Him strip you. We have to come before 
him naked and unashamed. Yes. And when you go to the altar, guess what? That's exactly what you're going to get if you allow him and allow the Holy Spirit to do a work in your heart in Jesus' name. This word of God has to be real to us. We can't be placating. We can't be placating. We can't be playing. Amen. And when you get to that place, then, oh, my God, then we can have this Mm -hmm. rest in him. This promise of rest because we have intimacy, because we allowed him to take us through this purification process. Hallelujah. And truly our hearts echo, Lord, I seek you first in all things. I seek Mm. first the kingdom of God. Lord God, I seek your presence. I seek your will for my life. Lord God, I want my life to be a reflection of you in the name of Jesus. Jesus. And the word tells us that the, 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 the reward of all that, is that we will be blessed because we are hungering and thirsting yes, us yes, for righteousness. his righteousness. Yes. And we shall be satisfied. Glory to God. Yes, I'm just God. so turned on and so excited God, about this God. word. My God, today, hallelujah, that you have released yes, in our hearing today in the name of Jesus. People of God, run back to the altar. <laughs> Yes. Run, Sweet. run as Sweet. if your life counted on it, because guess what? Your life does count on it in the name of Jesus. Return my, my, my. to the altar. That is the only yeah. way that you will have an assurance and a confidence the that you Lord. are in position and you can take your place and your position. And guess what? Like the woman of God said, you're not going to have a care about who's not supporting you or what people are saying about you in the name of Jesus. Because when you go into the altar, you're entering into his presence. And guess yes. what? His presence is in heavenly places. And guess but what? You, you are seated yes. in heavenly places in the name of yes, Jesus. God. And you yes, are praying God. from a heavenly perspective. Yeah, you are gosh, praying gosh, gosh. from a heavenly perspective. You we are seated from a heavenly perspective. My yes, God, today. God. So thank you, thank you, thank you. You have made a declaration on this vine today. Hallelujah. And I pray that we that have an ear to hear, Hear what yes, the Spirit of the Lord God. is saying to the church, to us yes, in this hour. The Lord bless you, prophetess. Amen. And bless I would you. ask you now, as we come to a close, if you would just release a prayer, amen, of closing, amen, of all that has been released and declared as the Spirit of the Lord has, has and as you have obeyed the Spirit of God, amen. Yes, and God. then I will come back with uh, last-minute comments, amen, and to close the room. Amen. Amen. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, God, we heard the word on today. It said, return back to the altar. Father God, I pray that you will quicken your people's mortal body now. I pray, God, that you will quicken their spirit. Hallelujah. I pray now, God, you will quicken their heart, God. God, they will go back to the basis, oh God. They will run to the altar, oh God. Mama, shiki and obosha. God, da 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 bo, shiki, mededi obosha, be and obosha. Father God, I pray now, my God, yeba, shiki and obosha. I pray now for the whole cause of the fire. Begin to fall upon your people's right now, God. And God, every individual, ha ma, ho ba, shete de obosha. They will run to the altar, my God. They can't wait until they get to the house of the God. But, God, they got to build an altar in their own prison of the house, the apartment, the trailer. God, I pray now that God will quicken them now, God. And I pray now to be in self-examination. And they will look at that stuff and say, I must get back to the base. God, there's a 911 call on my life now that I must run to the altar. I ain't worrying about who at the altar. I don't care if I got to make me a way there. My God, if I got to get on it. In. I got to get at the pulpit today. There's a 911 call that I must return back to the altar, oh God. And the reason why, God, because some of us is losing the power, we losing the spirit of God. I was we lose the anointing, and we are Mama Shiki, not all of us. And some of us, God, we see ourselves drying up, God. But I hear the Bible say, one, one plant, one water, God, get the increase today. The Lord said, I'm 
going on my people today that's not quaking, my, my, my. Ooh, that's so stirring today, my, my, my. The Lord said, I'm stirring my people up today. You must return back to the altar. You ain't got no other chance today. The Holy Ghost said, I'm putting all of us on the Holy Ghost already and even begin with myself first. I must return back to the altar. I must find more time in prayer. I got to sacrifice myself before God even the more. Don't you know the great anointing, the great attack? on our life, don't you know when God give me the elevator, the tax is going to come, and it's going to come from inside the house of God. It going to be so much on the outside, but you got to know that you know that you know. That's what the Lord said. You got to pray even the more. You got to fast even the more. Come on. The Bible said, bless your enemy. Keep them close to you. Free them out of long house, boom. Turn the other cheek, my God. Bless those that curse you. Bless those that blaspheme you. Bless those that talk about you. He said, bless your enemies today. Show them love and kindness. The more you show love and kindness, the more the Lord shall deliver them. Put them in the altar. Put their name on the altar. Begin to pray for them. God save them. God deliver them. God heal them. I don't understand why they're doing it, but I'm going to pray for them, God, to you deliver my sister. Deliver my brother, God. In the name of Jesus, my God. The Bible said when we have been converted, Go and convert our sister and our brother in the spirit of the Lord. Come on, somebody. We got to we gotta walk in love. We got to have that peace. We got to have the joy. We must have the fruits of the spirit. We must walk in the fruits of the spirit. We must live in it. We must allow it abide in us today. God, we thank you today, God. Cover your people on this line today, God. God, don't let them just hear the word of today. Let them hug in. Let them diligent, in, God. Begin to do a self and self nation. The one that got us a 911 call. We must get back to the base. To come on, somebody. Today, God, I'm decreeing the clam that's a stirring in the Holy Spirit now. God, begin to stir us all up today, God, that we ain't got no other choice. We got to yield ourselves to you. We got to surrender to you. It ain't about us, God, but it's about you, God. Today, you get the glory. You get the honor today, God. Cover your people today, God. God. And God, you all shall my Lord. I bless your name today. I glorify your name in Jesus Christ. Bless the apostle God. Bless the woman of God that you gave her this vision. Continue to bless her, God. She birthed out of this vision. God, continue to let her birth even the more. Don't let her just stop. Bless her to go around every city, every country, every nation, God. Teaching the women and men of God. There's a man that one, one, one call. God, continue to bless the people that even connected with her, God. Bless her seed. Bless her, oh God. Bless her as she come in. Bless her as she come out, God. And Lord, I thank you today. And God, you get the glory. You get the honor. You get all the praise. In Jesus Christ's name, I pray. Hallelujah. Ah, yeah, Oh, my God, I feel the power of the Holy Ghost. Mm, mm, mm. My God, rest upon us, God. So we both need some peace. My, 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 show Tobo Shando. We'll allow the enemy to come in and steal our peace. God said he restored your peace. He restored your joy. Restore your happiness today. God said you better shut every door that's not of God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Father, I thank you today. Mm, mm, mm. Thank you for your anointing that rest upon us, God. Hallelujah. Bless your name, my, my, Tobo Shaya. Ooh, God, I thank you for your Holy Ghost now. Mm, mm, mm. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. It's in your hand, Apostle. Hallelujah. Glory Ooh, to God. You, thank you, Father. Thank Hallelujah. you, Father. God. Thank, thank you, you Father. Lord. We Hallelujah. bless your name, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Well, certainly, certainly the Lord is telling us that it's time to return to the or- the altar and turn our faces to the wall. Hallelujah. I know particularly yes, he's saying something very strong to the wailing women that he is requiring a sound, a sound. He's expecting a yes. sound. Amen. And he needs a sound from us wailing women. He needs a sound from us intercessors. Yes, Amen. Yes. He needs to go to your the altar, go to your place of prayer where you have the tent of meetings with the Holy Ghost. Yes, Amen. Uh, 
get in position, get in posture, amen, know that he is speaking, and this is the timing of God. This is certainly a right now word, amen, that we need to turn our faces to the wall, ha, put our faces to the floor, get on the threshing floor. Today the Father is calling us back to the altar, amen. And this is truly essentially a call to prayer, I think, woman of God. It is the Lord literally saying, come, come, yes. come and have 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 a fellowship with me. Come into my presence. I need fervent intercession for the cleansing yes, and the God. unity of the nations and of this world. So I need you to come, and not only just for the world and the nations, but for us that we truly can be used of him in this hour. Amen. So yes, I think the Lord. the Lord is saying, according to Amos 5.16, let them make haste and take up a wailing. Amen. Glory to God. Their eyes may shed tears and our eyelids flow with water. I need you to come to the altar. Hallelujah, says the Lord God of hosts in Jesus' name. He wants us. He needs us. Remember, he cannot move unless he has a body within us. Amen. He needs our body. Glory to God. We are his representatives here in this earth realm. Mm. And I truly thank the Lord for this word. It just just even provokes me. To, and, and again, you know what? Yes, I see. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I'm going to send up a prayer, too, because we're going to bind the spirit of retaliation against this word. Amen. In the name of Jesus. And yes, every um, naysayer and no sir. And Lord God, yes, even um, those words that have been spoken against the woman of God, Lord God. We send every Mm -hmm. cursed word of destruction and sabotage back to every evil address now, and we deal with the sender, Lord God, in your way for vengeance on her behalf. Father God, we bind up every demonic tongue, Mm. every demonic tongue of envy and jealousy and strife right now. Release, Lord God. Your fire to burn ashes, mm-hmm. hallelujah, burn it to ashes, Lord God. Every satanic yes, word, oh, my God, every persecution wow, in the name of Jesus. Reverse, Lord God, Not reverse the spells sent out against your anointed, Lord God. And, Father, yes, I thank God. you for your ministering Ooh. angels and your warring angels, Jesus. your angels that have been assigned to her destiny yes, and God. purpose that protect her, that watch over your anointed, Lord God, and continue to move her, Lord God. Thank you for the elevation. Thank you, Lord God, for a deeper revelation of you and your purpose for her life, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, for her deliverance from every diabolical assignment. Every yes, diabolical God. assignment of the enemy, in the name we of bind Jesus. it up now in the name of Jesus. Right now, Lord, God. I thank in you. The name Let of your Jesus. will be done. Let your kingdom come in your yes, servant, God. prophetess, hallelujah, Harris. Hallelujah, and, Lord, we thank, thank you, you for the manifestation. Thank, thank you, Lord you, God, Father. for the mantle. Oh, my God. Thank you, Lord God, yes, for God. the avenue of increase of resources yes, and God, provisional sources, you. Lord God. Thank you for a greater revelation of who you are Mm. to her in her life. Thank you, Lord God, for supernatural godly doors opening for her in the name of Jesus. And, Father, we bind up the Jezebel, the Ahab, the Absalom, the Judah spirit, Lord God, Mm. that will try to come into her presence. We thank you, Lord God, and we seal this prayer in the blood and in the name of Jesus right now. Amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Yes, I receive it, God. Yes, I receive it in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Well, listen, people of God, we thank the Lord for Prophetess Harris. Amen. We thank you, hallelujah, for your obedience, woman of God. Thank you for waiting on the Lord for this word in Jesus' name. Thank you, In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Listen, people of God, do not doubt what God has released today. Yes. Amen. Yes. Do not doubt it. In the name of Jesus. We just yes, thank God. the Lord right now for what he is already doing because the word has gone forth. The Father said that he watches over his word to perform it. It does not return to him void, but prospers in the place where it has been sent. Listen, people of God. Beyond a shadow of a doubt, receive what the Spirit of the Lord is saying to the church, to the body of Christ today. Hallelujah. It is a time to return to the altar. 
It is a time for repentance, everyone. Hallelujah. It is a time to be in position. It is a time to be in position. And your position is on the altar. Glory to God. I thank the Lord for the great move, hallelujah, of the Holy Spirit in this hour. And I declare that the Father's mighty acts will be manifested in your life as you receive this word. You shall do great exploits. Begin to believe God and take him at his word, people of God. And in my closing, I would say, Abba, Father, I pray that you now fill this broadcast with your glory. Yes, God. And that those who are Jesus. under the sound of our voices now and later on a rebroadcast yes, will experience a great manifestation of your power and of your presence. Yes. Touch the yes, light God. and nature of God within them, Father God. And let there be a demonstration. Hallelujah. Yes. Of change. In the life of your people, oh God, in the name of Jesus, I want to say thank you again, Prophetess Lisa, for stopping by for another Shabbat Saturday. Thank yes, you, Dr. Yes. King Kim, our producer, the Lation Radio family. Amen. We thank the Lord for you and for this platform. And we will be back next Saturday for another Shabbat Saturday at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Amen. Hallelujah. Again, thank you, Prophetess Lisa Ann Harris. Amen. Mm, and Dr. You. Kimmy thank Kim, you. our producer. May the Lord God yes. continue to use you, great women of God. Dr. Kimmy Kim, now please close us out. Shalom, everyone. Hallelujah.
was created for. I was created for. Oh, I was created for. So I believe in God. I was created for. Oh. Thank you.